This is the place where Buddha descended from heaven and once it was one of the most visited Buddhist destinations in the world. Today, it may be just another small village in some remote part of India, but at the time of Buddha, it was one of the largest cities in the country. It remained lost for centuries and even after it was rediscovered, it remained neglected and forgotten. Why one of the eight greatest places of Buddhist pilgrimage has been ignored and forgotten? The place which once housed several large monasteries today does not even have the basic facilities for tourists. Why this place of Buddha was not given any major significance in the Buddhist circuit in India? In Sankisa, Buddha descended from heaven after preaching Abhidhamma to his mother and the assembly of gods in the Tratishma heaven. Buddha ascended into Tratishma heaven after performing the twin miracles at Shravasti. After spending three months of a rainy retreat in heaven, he informed Saka, the king of gods, about his intention of returning to earth. Saka created three ladders, one made out of gold, another of silver, and the third made out of jewels. The top of each ladder was placed on the peak of Mount Meru and the bottom at the gate of Sankisa city. Buddha descended upon the jewel ladder, the gods and Brahma accompanying him on each side, with the gods taking the gold ladder and Brahma the silver ladder. The miracle was witnessed by a large crowd of people at the gate of Sankisa and the location of Buddha's descent from heaven became a very important pilgrimage destination. Sankisa is located in the village of Basantpur in Farukhabad district of the state of Uttar Pradesh. Today Sankisa may be a very small place, but at the time of Buddha, it was one of the largest and most developed cities in India. With time, several monasteries and stupas were built in Sankisa. Shwanzang, the famous Chinese scholar who visited Sankisa in the 7th century, mentions that there were several large monasteries present in the city which housed more than 1000 monks and nuns. He mentions that the monasteries were heavily decorated and had beautiful images of Buddha and Bodhisattvas. Today, the Ashoka pillar is perhaps the most known structure at Sankisa. King Ashoka installed this pillar to mark the place of Buddha's descent from heaven during his pilgrimage to Sankisa in the 3rd century BC. The Ashoka pillar was surmounted by an elephant capital out of which only the elephant capital survived. Near the Ashoka pillar, there is a high stupa made of bricks which marks the spot where Buddha descended from heaven after preaching to his mother and the assembly of gods. The stupa is 6 meters in height and the diameter of the structure is 49 meters. This brick stupa also was built by King Ashoka. When the ladders on which Buddha and the gods descended disappeared, the neighboring kings built three brick ladders to mark the event. Large Buddhist monasteries were established around the foundation of the stupa and the remains of those monasteries are still present in Sankisa. Ashoka also built a temple on the top of the stupa which survives till today. With the decline of Buddhism in India, after the 12th century, Sankisa also went into decline and was gradually forgotten. The city was lost and the Ashoka stupa was appropriated by the local Hindu population who built their temple on the top of the stupa. It was rediscovered by the famous British archaeologist Sir Alexander Cunningham in 1842. Anagrik Dharmpal, a prominent Buddhist scholar and activist from Sri Lanka, visited Sankisa in 1930. The dome-shaped temple near the Ashoka pillar was built by him. Sankisa is one of the eight greatest places of pilgrimage for Buddhism, but it is rarely visited by any pilgrim because of its remote location and lack of facilities for the tourists. Compared to other seven great places of Buddhist pilgrimage, the archaeological conservation and exploration efforts in Sankisa are still in the initial stages only. It was once home to several important monasteries which are still waiting to be excavated. The locations nearby throw away several signs of its rich Buddhist history and all these artifacts need better conservation efforts. Several ancient man-made mounds still need to be explored in Sankisa. Sankisa has been forgotten and ignored for a long time as a major destination in Buddhist pilgrimage circuits. However, it is considered one of the most important places for pilgrimage in Buddhism. The ancient site needs considerable conservation efforts and better facilities for Buddhist pilgrims from across the world who wish to visit the place associated with Buddha. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. We are constantly coming out with new videos on the life of Buddha and the Buddhist heritage. If the information provided by the video was useful, please subscribe to the channel for similar videos on Buddhism. Please share your thoughts on Sankisa in the comments below.